It was you who lit the match. What, you thought she didn't have a plan? I don't know, you tell me, does the title of this fam just seem too long? Let me know your thoughts. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Girl in the Spider's Web, a new dragon tattoo story. I really do appreciate it. Now, that title is super duper long. The original title was just The Girl in the Spider's Web. Um, if you did not know, this film is loosely based around The Girl in the Dragon Tattoo. Uh, they came out in 2011 uh, with Rooney, Mara, Daniel Craig, and uh, David Fincher. But none of those people decided to return in this one. Uh, we have Fede Alvarez as the director and Claire Foy as the hacker Elizabeth Slander. Now, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, I did see it. I thought it was a decent film. I did not see the original, the uh, foreign version, which I hear is much better. And like I said, this one is loosely based on it. The director is Fede Alvarez. If you don't know him, he did uh, Don't Breathe in 2016, currently working on Don't Breathe 2. Great movie. And also Evil Dead, uh, which I haven't seen. Uh, now, this film right here seemed like it would interest me. Uh, and it did for the most part. I really do love a vigilante plot story uh, to where, especially if the uh, protagonist is uh, perceived to be weaker than her foes, but they still come through and kick a whole bunch of butt and things like that. And that's really what I did like about uh, the trailers for this film and uh, leading up to it, you know, towards the beginning, the first act. Uh, Claire Ford, she does she does a great job. She was also in First Man. Uh, she may get an award nomination uh, for best uh, female supporting actress, I believe, for that film. I mean, I think she deserves it, in, in my opinion. She did better in that film than this one, but, I mean, she still did a great job here. I liked her character. She wasn't playing any games. She didn't waste any time. There was no wasted movement. Uh, she was just like, hey, you're a scumbag, and I'm going to punish you for it. Uh, she didn't take joy out of it. She she didn't take pleasure out of it. But, you know, she went around and she seek justice. And uh, that's what, what I thought about the most of this film was going to center around. But it, it goes into a little deeper as with the, the, you know, criminal organizations, national security. Uh, what is it? The national security. What is it? Agency? Uh, administration? I feel like a dummy. Let me look that up real quick. I forgot. Now, yeah, National Security Agency and just some uh, some other things, hacking and things like that. That all that I really didn't find that interesting, even though some of the surrounding characters I did like that had to do that were you know um, that had, that had to do with like uh, Lakeith Stanfield. He was a uh, Dre in um, what was the movie called um, Get Out, and he was also in um, Side of Body earlier this year. He did a great job. I like seeing him on screen. But, you know, there was some times, like, I think after the first act, I was like, okay, where are we going with this? I thought that this was a vigilante chick that was going around kicking people's butts that beat up women. Oh, uh, But now we're trying to steal a program. Okay, what does the program do? Oh, wait a minute. Now we're going back to the original film that has to do with her little sister. You know, kind of just what's going on. So I like the very beginning of the film. I like the very end, kind of how it made everything circle back around. But the motivation behind it all was just kind of annoying to me. I don't like when bad guys are wanting to take their anger out on the whole world just because they're mad at a sibling or somebody they knew person over here. Just hurt that person. You don't have to hurt everybody. Or maybe I just didn't understand this film at all because I was ready to go. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It, it was just okay. Um, I didn't enjoy it um, as much as I wanted to. Uh, but at the same time, it's not a horrible film. If I have to rate the girl... Um, in the spider's web out of a one out of ten i'm gonna give this a six out of ten yes a six out of ten but guys that is just my opinion have you seen the girl in the spider's web or do you want to see it have i turned you on have i turned you off do you agree with me or do you disagree with me let me know down in the comment section below let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing if you like this video go ahead and give me the thumbs up 
And if you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. And also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my pen slash review of the girl in the uh, la, the girl in the spider's web. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brennan Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.